Hey everybody. So you have a character and you want to set it up for being able to pick up objects and not really have any issues. So picking up something and being able to control it with the hand, or even if you have a sword, being able to have that object control both hands. Pretty common in animation, but how do you do it without modifying the rig? I'll wait. Just kidding. So the way that you can do it is you can set up locators and you can use locators on anywhere on your character. So the really cool thing about locators is that once you set them up, then you have it and you know, you can reference in your rig. You don't have to worry about things not being set properly or more importantly, you don't have to worry about breaking the rig. It's totally separate and it's something that you can do. Let's take a look at the desktop here. So here I have the monster or real monster Jiro rig. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to add in with shift a a plane axis I'm going to scale this up just so we can see what's going on i'm going to control a apply the scale so you see everything zero and one i want to parent this locator which it's called an empty in blender to this character. Now, mind you, it has nothing again to do with the rig. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit tab. Now I've already gone through and I've selected three vertices and I'll show you why here very quickly, but we want to select three vertices in a triangular shape. It doesn't matter if you select two up here and one down here or what you do. Either way will work. So I want this locator to be on the hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the locator. I'm going to come up to where it has a little magnet. You can hit shift tab, turn that on. Box right next to it. I'm going to select face and I'm going to grab it and do that one more time because I want to make sure that we have it to where it aligns with the hand. So now that it's right in there, I'm going to shift tab out of the uh, snapping mode and if we select here and we hit command or excuse me, control tab, you'll notice we don't have a parent. We're going to select the empty shift select on the character and we'll tab into edit mode. We'll hit control P parent vertex tab to go back out of edit mode. And what we want to do is when we grab this, we actually have it set to where it will move with the hand. We can rotate, we can grab it, move it wherever we need. It follows along. This is really good for doing anything with characters. Like if you had a grenade or something that you wanted to put on, you know, a piece of equipment and you wanted to be able to access that very quick, very powerful. It also gives you another pivot point with your locator. So I hope that helped and I'll see you guys soon.